Hey guys, it's Audrey. I'm letting you come in my closet again because it is time for a purge. Look at all of these purses and all of those clothes. Look at it. Yes, I, I love to thrift, guys. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is uh, what a thrifting addict's closet looks like. I love purses, I love shoes, but it's time to purge because we can't let this get out of control. But I thought that since I am purging my closet, I would show you my purse collection and kind of let you know what I'm going to be selling on Poshmark, what I plan on just giving away back to Goodwill, and what I might do at a consignment store. So I'm going to pull it out. We're about to get down and dirty. I'm going to let you know all my secrets. Some of you have asked, how many purses do you own? I have no idea. How many shoes do you own? I have no idea. But we're about to find out. So stay tuned. All right, so some of these are not purses like this is a shoe bag but i'm just gonna take all these bags doesn't matter what type of bag it is off and start putting them on the bed and then we'll count them up and see how many i have so my long shot bag i probably will definitely be hanging on to that i'm probably definitely going to be hanging on to this bag for sure because i love it it's something i just recently thrifted that i'm going to just enjoy carrying when I'm traveling this summer. So yeah, definitely gonna probably keep that. I just thrifted this one. So I've gotta carry it at least a few times before I even do a resale on this bag because I love red anyway. So definitely going to be um, keeping that. And that container over there has seven handbags that are already up for sale on Poshmark. And a lot of these that I have on the door are recently thrifted bags that I showed in my last haul. So I will definitely be keeping the recently thrifted bags. But I'm just pulling them out because we are about to do a count. Because some people were curious to know how many bags I have. And now I'm curious to know how many bags I have. So rather than have you just see me go back and forth, um on pulling out the bags. I'm just gonna pull them all out and then I'm gonna come back to you with a count. So this video won't be too, too long, okay? And then we'll kind of talk about what bags I'll be keeping and what bags I will be leaving behind. So far guys, this is 19 bags. That is 19 bags thus far. And I still have more to go. So I'm gonna keep counting. So far, that is now 29 bags. I um, decided to color coordinate them somewhat and kind of organize them somewhat like dust bags, browns, greens, blacks. So yeah, let's keep counting. All right, so guys, we are now at 38 handbags, 38 handbags, okay? The bed, the bed is getting full now, but we got to continue counting. There's more. We're now at 42 and counting. All right, this is the point where it starts to get a little cringy, guys, <laughs> because I never knew that I had this many, and I always said that I would never have more than my age, and if there's 42 here, and seven over there, which are up for sale on Poshmark, that is 49 bags, which means I have more bags than I am age-wise. And I said I would not go over that, and I have because I've got more to count. So we're gonna have to dwindle this down to under my age at some point, but let's keep counting. Okay guys, the final count is 60 two purses 62 purses and that is including what is in that small little container over there um which are my poshmark um inventory but yeah 62 bags guys and as you can see i love black i think i have more black bags than um any other color and yes you see i have a lot of red bags so the question is, let me turn the camera on me because I am going to face this. Okay, guys, so let's get real. Let's have a talk. 
as you can see I've admitted that I am a thrift addict and I do have an addiction to purses I just love purses first of all I'm not trying to make excuses I'm just trying to give maybe some people some insight on how this type of thing can happen with an individual. I'm not trying to fill a void. I'm an artist. I love design. I love fashion. I have an eye for lines, for texture, for just all the elements of art. And so when I see beauty and it's affordable and I can have a piece of that beauty, I want it. Whereas like in nature, nature is for everyone. You can go out, you can be in beauty, you can take it in and you don't have to hog it with you. It's just always there. Now that's the ideal way to, you know, obtain and just, you know, immerse yourself in beauty, nature. So I love being in nature too. But when you can bring a little bit of someone else's creation that they've taken the time to design in and then you can wear it and style it and have dialogue about it. It's, I just like all of that about it. But I do realize that I cannot hoard these things. And if you are a purse addict and a thrifting addict like me, you know, um, hi there. You're not alone. But you don't have to let this consume your life and overtake you because truly and honestly, all of these things are going to pass away. I mean, it's just, you know, over time things disintegrate and it's really, you know, when you look at the big picture, it's not, you know, the most valuable thing. It's just the things that I like while I'm here on this earth but I'm not so attached to it that I can't let go. So we're going to let go of some things. If you're out there and you need to let go of some things, even if it's just one, two, or three things, go ahead and do it. Let this be the day that you're going to do it. And you could just do it in stages. That's what I do. Quarterly, I do a purge. I did not realize I had this many purses. Like I said, I had this limit of where I didn't want to go over my age. And I'm 46, about to be 47, but I have 62 or did I say 64 <laughs> handbags? But anyway, I know I have over 60. Uh, the video tells it all though, right? So anyway, let's take a look at these purses. This is gonna be a long video, a revealing video, but I hope you enjoy it. But let's take a look at some of these purses and start weeding them out. All right, so these are my bags. Let's go ahead and talk about them. The ones that I'm keeping, ones I'm giving away that I'm gonna let go of, the ones I'm gonna sell. This is a newly acquired bag. And I'm going to hang on to that because I, I love it. And that's probably one that I will keep as an essential that I won't let go of. If I had to narrow it down to only 10 bags, this is one that I would keep. This bag, I'm only going to keep temporarily, but eventually I know I will either give it away or sell it. Um, I have not carried it yet. And that's why I want to keep it because I do want to carry it at least three times. I just think it's a really cute bag. Um... This bag, I'm definitely going to be, I've already carried it several times. I've actually carried it four times this week and a few times last week. And I'm going to be selling this one on Poshmark. This is Coach Bag, which I really like. But since I have to get rid of some things, that's one. I'm going to get rid of this. And I believe this is a Makowski. It's a vintage bag with snake skin and uh, lamb skin. And I love it. But I haven't carried it. I just bought it because it was vintage and I like vintage. So I'm giving that away. Eel skin clutch. I got a goodwill. I liked it because of the eel skin and it was black. I'm giving that away. This coach, I'm definitely going to be hanging on to. So keeping that. This is the Barney's bag. Kind of like the Speedy. I love this bag. I've carried this nonstop since I've had it. Is very functional it has a shoulder strap so I'm keeping that I love it this is a vintage bag that I'm definitely hanging on to because I just like the design of it it's unique and this is a Stuart Weitzman and I think it's a rare find so I want to keep that vintage bag so so far I'm giving away three I'm gonna make a pile over here for the bags that I'm going to either give away or sell. How about that? So I'm gonna do giveaway, sale on Poshmark. This beautiful bag I have not carried, but look, it's so glamorous looking. 
And this is a black house white market and someday I'm gonna have to dress up so I want to keep that this is just a cute like festival type bag so I'm gonna keep that just for the functionality this bag I've hung on to it for a while because it was a gift and it has a unique design but I I have carried this bag but I think I'm going to sell this one And this bag here was a gift and it's a vintage bag, which I really like. Just gotta <clears throat> clean that up a little bit, but I like that and it's a gift. And I wanna keep that one. This one, cute, love the animal print on it, but I'm going to sell, sell it, sell it. All right, this one I like. Even though it's not a real Chanel bag, it's in, it is real leather and it's in excellent condition and I wanna keep that. I just think this is just the cutest retro bag. Look at the bright colors on that. I wanna keep that one. Definitely keeping my John Romaine bags. So far, we'll count, do a count later. I'm doing pretty good. All right, I'm going to give that away or should I keep it? It's a good travel bag for shoes and I have used it. So I'm gonna think about that, that's a maybe. This one, remember, I just got it. I'm definitely keeping that, it's red. This one I like because it's a novelty item and it's recyclable and it was, I got it brand new. And I do plan on using that, so I'm keeping that. I do like this, and this is a Naui all-in bag, by the way. I do like this bag. Um, it's really good quality leather. It's red. I like the strapping on the handles. Keeping that. I always wanted one of these magazine bags and I got it at flea market. So I'm keeping that. Just got this bag and I need to carry it for this summer. So I'm keeping that. You all know I just purchased this uh, bot care bag. I love the strap on it. Keeping that. I'm I'm gonna give away some more stuff, guys. I am. This I like. Um, keeping that. I love this woven design on this bag, but I'm gonna sell it. I think recycled materials are really good, but this one's Poshmark. Um, this one. Poshmark. Actually, it's already up on Poshmark. That should have been in the bag. Then I have this bag, which I think I'm just going to give away and not sell. That probably would sell pretty well, but we'll see. That's definitely giveaway. I will put this up on Poshmark. I just recently got that, but I think someone who's into vintage bags will like it. So there, um, getting down to the wire. This is a nice uh, French made bag and I've carried this quite a bit. I love it. It's like the perfect size for me. I like the leather, keeping that. This I'm going to give away. Forgot about this little thing here. I will probably put this up for sale on Poshmark or maybe give it as a gift for Poshmark. So that, I love this bag. It's unique, different, keeping it. Keeping it because of uniqueness. It's bottle caps, look at that. Recyclable, reusable. Just got this, but I'm selling that. I think it's, or either giving it away, so I'll put that over there. This I'm definitely giving away, keeping. Definitely keeping collectors um, giving away. Keeping for now, may sell later. Love this lucky brand, awesome deal, keeping that. Um, I have carried this bag, I do like it. It's a John Romaine. However, I'm not like dying to keep it, so I may give that away. Keeping, because I just got it. Selling on Poshmark. Keeping, 
and all of those I am keeping. So that's it guys. Now I'm going to give a conclusion and recap so you'll know how much I'm actually giving away. Okay guys, so I am giving away a total of 17 purses. Let's subtract that from my total purses of 62 and that will leave me with 45 purses, which puts it under my age because I am about to be 47. So, okay, I did it guys. Give me a hand, give me something. I mean, at least it's progress, right? But anyway, all right, so. As I was continuing to clean out my closet, I've got to be honest with you guys. This is titled Confessions of a Handbag Addict. So I've got to be real with you. As I was cleaning out, getting rid of some jeans, something told me to look in this other bin in my closet. And lo and behold, what did I find? <laughs> you got it. I found another handbag. <laughs> Yes, I found this one. I thrifted this one um, last summer, actually, when I was in Memphis for like two bucks, I believe. It's an Amelia Burko bag made in Italy. Croc emboss, envelope style. You can take the handles off and wear it as like a clutch. It's envelope style, but yeah. I'm going to sell this bag, at least put it up for sale. Hopefully it will sell. So that would mean my count is up to 18 instead of 17. But I think what I want to do is to trade this one out with another bag because I was really having a hard time letting this one go. I really like the idea of recycled materials. So I really want to keep this one. It's so cute and stylish. So I'm keeping that one. And since I found this one, I'm switching that one out. So the count that I'm giving away is still 17. But I had to be honest and show you that I had another bag. See, that's what happens when you have so many bags. You lose count. Stuff gets hidden away, especially if it's in a bin. You forget about it. And so, yeah, that is one of the signs of an addict, guys. Just being real with you. But the count is still under my age. 46 instead of 45. But doing well okay so i'm really happy that i was able to let go of 17 purses i'm going to give away some to goodwill and i'm going to sell the others on poshmark and thank you for coming on this like purging uh experience with me if there are any more of you out there who have like a similar thrifting addiction like me comment below uh, let me know how do you deal with, you know, keeping everything in check. Do you do frequent purges like me? I am, like I say, happy to let go of these things because in the big scheme of things, they really don't matter. But I just love design. I love art. I love beauty. I just love design. So that is the insight on a purse addict, thrifting addict. Love you guys. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time with a video. But it probably won't be a haul. It will probably be another cleansing because I need to do the purging of jeans too. So maybe this will be a continuation of the purge, the big purge. And then um, I do want to do a bag review of my favorite bag thrifted bag which is the bagalini so i'm definitely going to do that guys so anyway thanks for tuning in remember to be a good steward of all that god has given you because he truly loves us so much and i love you too like and subscribe bye